Good morning, Joe. Good morning, po, sir. Para ko na namang nasa malayo niyan. But ang echo mo dyan, nasa CR ka, no? Ay, wala po. Yung ano po kasi dito sa amin. Nakas <laughs> ng echo? Congrats, ha? Yung ano po, yung sa construction po dito sa amin. Hmm. Usually ganyan yan, eh. Yung parang katimingan kung kailan may klase ka, doon may construction. <laughs> construction, nagkakahulang aso. Anyhow, we're now for... In the conference room, we have uh, Brian, we have our Beetle Jared, we have Cyrus, and we have Eman, as well as um as well as Audrin, Audrin and yeah, sila pala. Okay, good morning, Beetle. Intayin tayo ng konting dumagdag pa before we start. I'll try to turn on our shared screen. Sorry, may echo. I don't know why. George, what can you see on the, on your screen? Is it a full screen PowerPoint slide or in there? Full screen po. Ah, full screen. Thank you. Okay. Parang tagal ko na since last ako nag, ano eh, nag PowerPoint. Hindi <laughs> ko nakabisado. Plus, I'm using a different OS. Okay, tignan natin kung marami na. Okay, we're now 12. And we also have Kyle, Sophia, Alfred, Lara, and Bido Krisna, as well as Miss Ra, as and see John Michael dito na rin. Okay, um, let's start. Again, good morning, guys. Today is October 11th. This is our second meeting, but the first and only synchronous meeting for the week. Um, yesterday, um, we started with week 8, 8.1 basically, 8.1, because we weren't able to do a remedial class last week where um, Thursday classes were scheduled. That's why I switched it up. Um, what I did last week was my Friday classes, nagkabaligtad. So, um, I had my remedial class for Thursday with my Friday class. Now, also, that's why yesterday it was scheduled for Friday classes. So, I had to have my Thursday classes on. So, bumawi lang ako. Pero nonetheless, um, I was just, um, as, as I mentioned to Jared, na tinulugan ako buong, buong araw. Wait lang, let me just remove the echo. Sana wala ng echo. Okay, wala na masyado. So, yun nga, um, nag-post lang naman ako just to keep the topic thread started. Although, I'll be discuss, I'll try to discuss all the topics for this week in one go, um, starting from the topic last or yesterday hanggang sa Thursday, which is our asynchronous, pero para mas makompleto na rin natin, I'll try to speed through everything as well as to discuss our performance tasks, which we will have for the finals. Again, to kick things started, um, our topic for finals is all about film. Film, commonly known as movies, commonly known as um, motion picture. Bottom line, these are the things that you see on the silver screen. Diba? Things that you watch um, at the cinema. Diba? So, for clarification lang, ibahin natin yung mga terms. We have three terms for films. We have film per se, we have cinema, and we have movies. Diba? Film is what is the mechanical or slash chemical device used to yan, shoot a video. Pero it has been used Yan, um, decades after as the object, as the visual art that we watch. Diba? So, hindi lang siya basta basta yung negative. We call it film na. Siyempre, due to the differences of movies nowadays, film, or the the, the use of the term film is now considered to kaya paano, um, consider the artistic value of that material. 
So if walang artistic value and it's plainly commercial, we call it movie. Diba? So, bottom line, isa lang naman din yun. Pero, pinaganda lang yung term. Okay? So, we, you, um, feel free to switch between using movies as a term or using film as a term. Pero, yun nga, um, just to, kaya paano educate the uneducated, we use the term film pag artistic. Yung mga sinasali sa cans, sinasali sa different film festivals, di ba? And then movies, these are the MCU films. Although, ngayon, movies or commercial movies get to join or get to appreciate film festival or artistic film festivals na. Um, I remember um, Endgame or Avengers Endgame, Black Panther, nananalo na rin sila ng mga awards from different film festivals. So, again, the name or the differences in the usage of the terminologies is but a personal preference na lang. Okay? So, to Kings, um, I, I already kicked things started naman na. So, I'll, move, I'll be moving on to the PowerPoint file at hand. Hopefully, everyone is seeing this. I'll be skipping the some of the parts here, like objectives, kasi you get to you get to read the objectives naman. And if you've downloaded the syllabus during our require um during our orientation week sana yeah, nakikita niyo naman dun. so here's the learning outcome um eventually we will have an activity about this oh actually hindi na pala activity you're doing it already with your attendance naman so um given up okay so for an activity um i'll try to discuss it um on thursday uh, actually hindi kasi wala pa time pass on thursday and there should never be any activities during the mental health break diba? so okay lusot na kagad kay dun that's great lusot na rin ako sa pag check okay film as an art uh, treated as an art comparable to literature painting or sculpture film called for study in terms of appreciation Differentiation. Wait lang. Let me just remove the background music. Kasi para akong si Galvatron. Test mic. Ang echo ko pa rin. Wait lang. Ang echo ko pa rin. Okay. Sana clear pa rin. I can still hear my voice. Yun. That is an appreciation for film meant understanding what distinguished the medium for other arts or from other arts and then differentiating among the myriad of actual films those that best exemplify the distinctive nature of the medium. Bottom line ito, ang gusto lang naman natin ma-achieve here is to appreciate the different kinds of films. Whether it's a commercial film, whether it's an artistic film, it should create or it should do its purpose or function pa rin. Diba? Um, whether you're watching Schindler's List, whether you're watching a Jackie Chan movie, dapat at least isa man sa mga functions or purposes ng arts na, na, na a-achieve pa rin naman natin. Diba? Yun lang naman yun eh. So whether you're into K-drama or you're into Japanese um, films, walang, walang, there's no discrimination or there should never be a discrimination when it comes to watching films, watching TV shows. Diba? Kasi andun dapat yung enjoyment lang eh. Yeah, some people may argue, di ba, yung mga soldiers, di ba, BTS versus... Sino may kalaban ng BTS? Non, non-believers or non-K-pop fans, parang ganun. Either way, ang importante dapat walang ganun, dapat focus lang. Di ba, dapat walang... There's, there should never be any separation kasi you're both enjoying art eh. The differentiation of films into clusters of various kinds also allowed for comparisons and contrasts to be made beyond the level of the individual film. Similar to our photography, wherein most of you, even if you're not happy, even if you're not, um, wala kang, wala kang inkling towards photography, you were, you were forced, your hands were forced to do photography. But the bottom line is, eventually, you will never look at the same picture the same way again. Diba? This time around, when you look at photos, ay, moon of turns, ay, wow, 
um, Fibonacci sequence, ay wow, may attack, may texture, may pattern, di ba? Ganun na tayo tumingin. So, yes, we are not, or I, um, it is not my objective for you guys to love photography, hindi naman. Pero, I would want you guys to end this term knowing the differences and appreciating what you are already appreciating. Madagdagan pa yung level of, of appreciation nyo. Now, yun nga, if you're into photography before, hopefully now, <laughs> nag-backfire eh, no? Ngayon, ayaw mo na dahil sa art app, di ba? Pero, ang point is, if you're into photography before, mas na-appreciate nyo siya. If not, then, ito paano, you can now appreciate photographers, you can now appreciate their work, you can now appreciate your friend's shots sa, sa mga pictures nyo together, di ba? So, again, ito paano, nakatulong sana. And that's what art appreciation is all about naman. Same with film. Di ba? Um, you will not be filmmakers. Pero, all of us are undoubtedly moviegoers, movie watchers. We, we don't know, lo- we no longer go to the movie house or cinema, pero, we still watch a lot of, um, a lot of films um, on Netflix, via Torrent, di ba? Or, some, for some, even Facebook. Diba? Yung mga nag-share sa Telegram, sa Facebook groups. Diba? Nanonood pa rin tayo eh. I mean, so we watch not to pirate anything. Hindi naman tayo ganun. Pero we watch just so we, we get to have an idea. Ay, bakit ba sikat to? Ano, what's, what's good about this movie ba? Diba? Um, yun nga, I'm not, I'm not into, I, I'm a big Marvel fan. Pero, uh, when the Justice League, um, Zack Snyder um, version um, came, I watched it. I watched it on, ano? I watched on HBO Go. Diba? Talagang bumili pa ako, nag-subscribe pa ako just for a month and watched it. Nagbayad pa ako na extra. I think I paid extra for Wonder Woman and, and ano eh, Justice League. Pero, kailangan kasi I'm, I, I was curious, di ba? I was also curious kung anong difference nung regular Justice League with the, with the Zack Snyder version, di ba? Yun lang naman, di ba? Um, appreciation. We, sometimes we, 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 uh, we have a tendency to download um, our versions via torrent or our, our movies via torrent, pero um, we don't really profit from it naman. So, hindi naman siya matatawag na piracy talaga uh, to, an, to a degree. Ini-excuse ko lang yung sarili ko. Pero, yeah, um, the movies I saw or the movies that I have on my on my hard drive, yung mga tinoren ko, these are movies that I paid for sa Sinihan. These are the movies I paid for sa Google Google Movies and sa, um, well, Google Movies and YouTube Movies are the same eh. So, yun yung mga binili ko. Apple movie, um, Apple videos, ni pa ako nagsasubscribe doon. Pero, on on Google Movies or the, uh, YouTube Movies, nabili ko naman na sila. Yun nga lang, I want a personal copy or personal backup. That's why I use Torrent. Same with books naman. I love physical books um, and even digital, yung mga Kindle versions. Binibili ko talaga sila. Pero, I, I download torrent versions ng mga books na yun just for, ano, yun, for collection na lang. Okay. So, um, in this particular segment ng semester na, uh, ng term natin, that now that we're talking about film, we are also um, abiding by the, by the concept of elements, di ba? Like in our elements of photography, we have light, uh, color, moment, distance, and um, ano ba isa? Light, color, moment, distance. What was the last one? George, ano yung last? Composition po. Ay, ang galing. Very good. Okay, so composition. This time around, we are abiding by its own merit by its own elements and these are storytelling cinematography misansan sound and editing whatever you see whatever motion picture whatever tv show you see on the big screen on the small screen 
they abide by this. Pwedeng variety show yung pinapanood mo, pwedeng music video, pwedeng documentary, whichever genre, whichever platform, mayroon pa rin silang elements na yun, sinafollow. Okay? And for today's, or and for this week, we are to talk about storytelling. Storytelling or narrative. I um, If you are to Google it, elements of film, they call it narrative. Pero um, for the sake of our lecture, we call it storytelling because it's basically the same. Plus, kasi meron tayong devices and one of them is or uses the same word. Kaya para ma-distinguish lang yung difference, we will call it storytelling na lang. Yan. Visual narrative kasi yung term eh. So, yeah. Storytelling, also called visual storytelling or visual narrative, is a story told primarily through the use of visual media. So, uso dati ang blogs. Blog sites, um, Wattpad even. Actually, till now, uso pa rin naman. Pero, due to the ano ba, um, increasing use of the internet and the increasingly cheap data data packages or promotions, it's a lot better to watch a, a video than just simply to read. Well, ako mahili pa rin ako magbasa. Pero, I, I find it fascinating to just watch, di ba? Uh, I love reading kasi it makes my imagination go wild. It, it makes me more creative. Pero syempre, not all the time you want to you want to keep your brain running, di ba? Ayaw mo minsan mag-isip. Di ba? Like, right after ng exam, di ba? Um, it's not from this section, pero um, for my Friday classes, um, when we met last Friday, synchronous namin, um, I, I asked them if they want to, to, ano, to do a synchronous class. Ayaw nila kasi brain, ano eh, brain drain sila eh. And that's common, di ba? Common during exams or right after exams. Talagang ano eh, um, lutong utak eh, di ba? I guess that's the same with you guys. Yun nga lang di tayo nagtagpo. Pero yun nga, there are times that you just want to turn off your brain. Gusto mo lang mag-enjoy. Gusto mo lang ma-entertain. And that's where videos come in clutch. Mas effective ang videos for those kinds of scenarios. Ayaw mo na mag-isip. Ayaw mo na pag-anayin yung imagination mo. Then, yan. Watch a video. Visual narrative characteristics. First and foremost, dapat ang rich, um, ang storyteller, ang movie natin, it should una have a persuasive story with point of view. Dapat nakakaengganyo, dapat um, nakaka pick ng interest natin. Siyempre, we watch movies depending on our approaches to arts. Di ba, pabalik tayo doon. Um, like, when we discuss that, Anong type ba ng movies ang pinapanood mo? Ano ba yung usual na, na genres na pinapanood mo? Are you dependent on genre? Are you dependent on storytelling? Or storyline? Whichever approach you have, papasok pa rin dito yung dapat maganda yung story. Dapat maganda yung perspective ng pagkakwento ng story. That's why even the simplest movie or storyline ng isang movie can be very unique depending on how it was told. There, were, there are films like um, Vantage Point. There are films like Deadpool. Na, hello, um, superhero films are a dime a dozen. Sobrang dami na. Pero what makes, what makes Deadpool click? Diba? Um, he's basically the weakest superhero ever. Kasi wala naman siyang, superhum- wala siyang superhuman strength. He has healing factors like Wolverine. Kasi Weapon X project sila pareho. Pero wala siya super strength. Pero what makes the comic book interesting, what makes the movie interesting is that basically Deadpool is yan, on his journey along with us. Diba? He always breaks the fourth wall. Na parang every time may kalaban siya, every time may nasa scene siya, he talks to us, the moviegoers, the audience, di ba? And I think that's the that's the thing that makes Deadpool special. Di ba? So nakita sobrang bano ng character na napuputol yung kamay, napuputol yung, well, paa. Hindi niya natatawal yung kalaban. 
Pero what makes him special is that, yun nga, he, he, he tells it in a different perspective. We are part of his journey. We are part of his adventure. Second, high quality visuals. High quality visuals doesn't necessarily mean CGs, puro CGI, puro special effects. It doesn't have to be that way. Diba? Um, what movie? Yeah, we have ano. We have um, Parasite, the Korean movie. Um, mukha siyang walang CG, pero they, they have lots of CGs. Maramis lang CGI, hindi atin napapansin. Kasi they all use practical CGI. Mukhang realistic. Wala silang parang monsters or anything. Pero everything there is almost CGI. Yung bahay, yung bahay ng mayaman, and then yung bahay nila, they are mostly CGI. Diba? But they are used not to wow people, but to make things more realistic. But to create a world dun sa movie nila. And that's still considered high-quality visuals. With our local TV shows, lo- local movies, we rarely get a chance to see high-quality visuals. Minsan, even yung mga CGI natin, napaka, ano, napaka kaawa-awa. Um, dati, proud pa yung mga, proud pa yung mga, ano, movie production companies na parang, wow, pinagirapan namin tong ano namin pinaghirapan namin tong scenes na to. May dragon. Yun, mga Anting Kabisote movies. Uh, mga uh, Michael V movies. Yun, yung mga CGI, CGI yan. Pero, it's not as great looking, di ba? So, puro special effects. Effect, special effects ridden. Pero, I really can't consider them high quality. Di ba? There are a lot of visual effects, yes. Okay, so again, sana with film, dito pa naman realize niyo yung differences. Again, not to bash our local industry compared to the western ones, pero hopefully this will dito pa no open your eyes. Bakit kulang? Batay kulang lagi. Is it because of the cost, the 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 budget? Is it because kulang tayo sa talent? Remember, almost Um, every animator from Disney and Pixar are Filipinos, di ba? So, you really can't say na parang kulang tayo sa talent. Kasi we have people from Pixar, people on Disney, di ba? That can, that, yun, that provided great um, animations, great films, di ba? Same with, ano, same with comic books naman, even before the MCU. Um, with Marvel, we have lots of Filipino writers and Um, artists. Si Wilst Pacheco, I'm sorry, Wilst Portacio, si Carlos Pacheco, they are Filipinos. Diba? So, you can't really blame our our nationality when it comes to ano, talent. Pero, bakit kulang? Diba? Has social, environmental, or spiritual value? Ayan, ito ang difference ng ano yung constant or ano yung common na idea natin about our local films. Our local films always intend to have a moral, moral lesson. It shouldn't be the case. You're not there or not every movie goers go watch a movie to be taught, to be educated. Diba? Sometimes we just want a good movie, a good laugh. Diba? We just want to be entertained. Pero no, Filipinos, Filipino films, laging kailangan may moral lesson. Spoon-fed kasi ang moral lesson eh. Whereas with Western, even with Asian, other Asian films, you will really derive moral lesson from the story. Pero it's not to the extent na parang habang ginagawa yung movie, ano kaya yung matututunan nila dito? Ganun kasi ang Filipino lagi eh. That's why medyo parang spoon-fed yung, ano, yung learning. Whereas when you watch a movie, Western or any other uh, Japanese or Korean movies, even Thai or even Indian movies, hindi pilit yung moral lesson. It comes out naturally. So, yan. Um, eh, recent K-dramas, guys, were really great. 
um the love story part is um often takes a back seat um for those who are you know who are good to talk over mike ano yung mga latest or recent k dramas na wala masyadong love story pero it talks about social issues or even spiritual i think may spiritual din di ba pero for social issues muna may may mga k dramas na ganoon eh Diba? Like, for example, startup, guys, diba? With startup, um, there were a lot of discriminations. Discriminations for people na parang eh, nasa middle, ano, middle class. Um, discriminations for people na, na orphaned. Discrimination sa, ano, sa, sa mga single moms, diba? And those are social, societal issues sila. And the the movie or the the creator did not intend to teach us about them it just so happened na the world they created has a lesson to tell or has a lesson to teach vincenzo um kyle can you tell us something about vincenzo that's um well i can't say that that's the only um k drama that i haven't seen so far marami pa akong dito papanood pero can you tell us something about vincenzo without spoiling anything about sa ano siya sir, parang justice ganun. Uh, lo, ano yan? Um, parang, um, ano yan? Parang courtroom drama ba yan? About sa mga, ano, par- basta parang ano po siya sir, parang, ito-choose mo na lang maging less evil, pero lahat kasi, parang lahat ng tao, naturally evil. Parang ganun po yung nano ko sa k-drama na yun. Do you believe that? Opo. <laughs> so, <laughs> you believe that Um, yan, ikaw mismo, you have this tendency to be evil then. Apo. Parang ang hina ng boses na. Apo. <laughs> Oo, meron. Oo, I, I, I believe that. Oh, maganda yung ay, TV show ba yan? Or ano, movie? Series po, kay drama po. Ah, talaga yung TV show. Ang galing. Kasi, yeah, I, I believe that everyone has this side na evil. And it's on a day-to-day basis when we choose if we are to be good or we are to be evil. Diba? Ganda naman nun. So, I'll try to watch that. Um, Nasa Netflix ba yan? Apo, sir. Yay! Sige, kasi right now I'm watching Hometown. Hindi ba pala tapos yun? Akala ko tapos na siya, kaya ako siya pinanood. I don't want to watch movies kasi nauso or k-dramas kasi nauso. Gusto ko hindi ako. <laughs> Ang toxic kasi pag siyasabayan mo eh. Anyhow, thank you, Kyle. So yun, di ba? What, uh, I think that's basically one reason why K-dramas and K-movies have been really popular. Not just here in the Philippines, but worldwide. Kasi iba na yung level of storytelling nila. Um, yun, ganun pa na yung Vincenzo, di ba? Um, ako, pinuri ko talaga yung startup kasi Um, yeah, I, I really love their kilig TV shows or kilig movies. Pero it's really refre- refreshing na parang yung love story, hindi siya importante sa story niya. Di ba? Yung career growth nila. Which is, which is nice. Di ba? Nakakatuwa kaya yun. Same with um, hometown cha-cha-cha. It's also societal issue. Bakit? Kasi it's lahat, especially here in the Philippines, issue siya. Kasi here in the Philippines, It's always, um, people are always mocked pag wala kang permanent job. If you're a freelancer, ang baba na tingin sa'yo. Di ba? Uh, before, I, before I became um, a professor, I'm mostly doing freelance. I'm a freelance web developer. I'm a freelance writer for certain um, TV stations dati. Pero hindi ko naman malagay sa, sa CV ko yon Or when I write it down, para but hindi ka tumatagal sa isang company? Well, because it's freelance. I don't have any COE. Diba? I, uh, sometimes I don't even have a contract. Diba? Ano lang yun? Um, trust na lang lagi. Pero I get paid. Pero yun nga, with um, hometown cha-cha-cha, diba? um, sorry if I will be ranting about that TV show. Kasi ang ganda. Diba? Um, it basically educates us na it doesn't matter if you're if you're earning this amount 
uh, by doing a uh, 9 to 10 job. I mean, 9 to 10. 9 to 5 job. 9 to 5 job, ito yung mga normal na, yun nga, teacher. Um, well, basically, sa Pilipinas, puro 9 to 5 jobs eh. Um, sa underworld ng freelancing, di mo makikita na parang parang one-fourth, one-third data ng mga professionals on um, uh, ngayon, especially during the pandemic, freelance work. Virtual assistant, um, yan, graphics design, Um, web design, uso pa rin siya. And people are, kami, we are really earning profits. Um, my web design, um, every website that I create, um, 15,000 lagi. Pinakamababa sa, uh, mababa akong mag-rate eh. 15,000 lang. And every year. Diba yun nga lang, every year. Kaya dapat marami akong kliyente. Pero, people, You can really earn. You can earn pa rin. You can even earn higher than actual professionals. di ba? Pero, again, dahil Pilipinas, ang importante lang sa atin is labels. Importante sa atin, um, ano ba ang tawag dito? Um, security and tenure. di ba? So, security. Security in the sense na parang, yun, magkaroon na aberya. You're still safe. You are still, um, Yeah, you're still employed, di ba? Pero, yun nga, yun yung kagandaan ng tinuro, o tinuro ng ano eh, nung k-drama series na yan eh. Okay. So, yeah. May societal issue pa rin siya or societal value pa rin na tinuturo ang yung specific TV show na yun, di ba? Lastly, it should have an appeal. Ang problema sa local, local industry natin, puro appeal. Di ba? Um, Yan, um I see I saw this TV um commercial Facebook commercial about ano or sponsored post about the latest movie ni Andrew E. If you're still familiar with Andrew E guys, congratulations. Andrew E is is, is uh, parang a has been rapper during the time of um Francis Magalona. Um hindi siya kasi sumikat naman din siya as puro TV, um puro movies. Pero nalaos, ngayon nagbabalik siya. Pero puro, ano, puro kabasasan, um, puro smart movies yung ginagawa niya. Um, shoot, shoot. Um, basta shoot, shoot yung title ng, t- ng bago niya movie. I don't know why people still do that. Pero again, andun kasi yung appeal for the audience na market C below. C below. Ito yung mga tipo ng t- top tao na. Mahilig pa rin manood ng bowl, mahilig pa rin manood ng ano, Yung mga walang, walang sense na, ano, na comedy. Anyways, so ano pa rin yung appeal, nonetheless. Pero, hindi siya as progressive. Unlike yung appeal natin ngayon, um, I've seen a good, um, good comedies, local good comedies. Um, any, any comedy ni Eugene Domingo, very smart. Kaya ay, ay, hindi pa smart eh. Very, ano, very... Ano pa? Um, mala ano pa rin siya eh. Mala sermon pa rin eh. Preachy, ika nga. Pero with Eugene Domingo, sometimes Michael B. comedies, very smart na yung yung comedy nila. And kahit paano, I, I find it appealing. Okay? So with you guys, syempre iba-iba yung taste natin, you may find it different naman. So baka mga, ay nakukorda ka kay Michael B., Gusto mo si Andrew E or gusto mo si I I de las Alas. It's it's um it's good game naman for everyone. Again, um as long as um the, such movies or TV shows are being patronized, then syempre it's all good for the movie industry naman. Pero syempre we're not dealing with um the industry itself naman, but uh, materials lang naman. Wait lang. One. Laki ng gamot na inilang ko. Okay. So again, for characteristics or qualities, um, it should have uh, a persuasive story told um, through a particular perspective. It should have high quality visuals, maganda panoorin, may replay value. Yung kahit nakamute, ang ganda mo tig- ang ganda tignan, hindi kailangan CGI, pero maganda yung scenery, maganda yung camera shots, maganda yung camera angles na ginamit. Maganda rin yung, syempre, yung, ano, yung, mga artista, ganda in the sense na bagay yung characters nila. 
realistic. Hindi yung tipong maganda face value lang. Maganda artista, maganda yung katawal, malaki boobs, diba? singkit or singchinita, di ba? Hindi siya high quality visual. Eh. Appealing lang, I guess, but it's not, those are not considered high quality visuals. Lastly, we have uh, has social or environmental or spiritual value. Diba? And not to spoon feed, not to um, preach moral a moral lesson. Storytelling is about presenting a series of events as words, images, and sounds that are of such interest and novelty to an audience that they become fully engaged in the presentation. Stories reach and entertain. So again, wala dito nakasad na teaches us. Pero, meron ditong sorry, meron ditong engage, meron ditong reach, and meron ditong entertain. And that's, those are the main functions of film or of movies in general. Diba? Hindi naman natin kailangan magturo lagi. Sometimes videos are, are used to teach something, pero it's not the real purpose. Diba? It's just a plus or it's a bonus. Audiences want the emotional experience of observing the conflict of the story. Gusto natin yung parang uh, parang chismoso yung dating natin. We are at the um, front um, ano yun? front and center ng storya. We get to uh, watch how um, the story unravels. We get to ha- watch how characters develop, how how relationships um, are built. Di ba? Ito, um, ito, ito. Um, with our um, local movies, local TV shows, gusto nilang magkwento that can drive us na parang andun tayo sa story mismo. To the extent na every movies or every TV show, local TV shows, para mabuo ang character development, lagi nagsisimula sa pagkabata, minsan kapanganakan. Which is ironic, di ba? Hindi naman kailangan simulat pag, ayun, ano yung pagkakapanganak, eh, kinikwento mo na yung story niya. Hindi naman kailangan ganun, di ba? Um, I'm, I can remember this movie kasi, or this TV show na pinapanood ng parents ko um, on Netflix. It's with um, Isa Calzado, Jody Santa Maria, and Sam Melby. Oo, uh-huh. so, ang weird lang din kasi, Simula, ano, simula yung dating pa lang yung tatlo. Pero all throughout, ang, ang pinaka-bottom line niya, yung issue ng mga anak nila, yung magiging parang pinaka-constant pala doon sa TV show. Pero pinasimulan pa, simula doon sa dating pa lang ni Isa Casado and then Sam Milby, tapos pumasok si Jody Santa Maria. Parang ang daming fluffs, ang daming fillers. Pero yung pala, ang goal pala nila is to introduce the kids yung dalawang anak nila, yun yung love story talaga doon. Which is weird, di ba? Parang, it's exhausting. Hindi siya good storytelling technique. Kung napagod ka sa kakasunod, yes, it's a TV show. Pero, if you will look at it from the very beginning hanggang sa dulo, there's a major gist nung series, kunyari, um, kampong episode or 20 episodes noon, Irrelevant. Diba? Those are fluffs na tinatawag. Okay. Kasi, hindi naman, hindi naman sila importante sa, ano eh, sa love story ng dalawang anak nila eh. Okay. Certain story elements will give the audience the entertainment aspect they want. So, syempre, the main goal here is are you entertained? Are you enjoying this? Diba? Kasi if it's not, it's not, it's not entertaining you. It's not, um, it's not worth your time. Then yeah, mission fail begun. Yeah. Okay. For storytelling, there are two kinds of devices for which storytellers relay or deliver their stories. The first one is narrative devices with perspectives and plot. And the other one, cinematic devices, we have montage, flashbacks, 
foreshadowing. Sobrang dami pang cinematic devices but um, we'll keep it to a minimum. Montage, flashback, foreshadowing. Marami pa, red herring. Um, ano ba ba mar- marami. Uh, I'll try to post it then um, for our Thursday topic which I will probably post on Wednesday just so you can read on the different cinematic devices. So again, context clues dito, narrative devices and the other one, cinematic devices. Which means to say, cinematic devices is more common on our movies. Okay? Um, mas apparent siya sa pelikula. But narrative devices is both present on film and what's the next one? Kung hindi movies, hindi film, saan siya present pa? Let's hear it from Shaen. Hello, Shaen. Shaen, galawin mo yung baso. Hello? Or if you're not able to speak up, you can type it naman. Wali. Jared, if it's not um, um, from the movies, anong platform siya? Naiisip ko sa mga, ano, sa mga vlogs, ganun. Vlogs? Opo. Oh, What? Uh, Pag-clarify, vlogs pa o vlogs? Vlogs. Vlogs. Yan. Vlogs is still part of ano, cinematic kasi video pa rin siya. So if, yan, kasama, pag sinabi cinematic, kasama na yung vlog dito, any form of video. Okay. But, but thank you, Jared, for trying. Let's hear it from ano, the second video naman. Chris na. Oh, I mean, Miss Nunez gising. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Where's Mopi? Ano po yun? Kako, and, um, as, as um, answered by Jared, kung, di ba, dalawang devices, we have narrative devices and we have cinematic devices. Cinematic devices is present for movies, even vlogs. Okay, V. How about narrative devices naman? Saan siya present? other than movies. Uh, Para na sa ano na, sir? Doc- sa- documentaries, ganun. Video pa rin siya. So, cinematic Ay. pa rin. Sige, thank you, Chris, na for trying. Thank Let's you. Have... Ginigising ko na kayo. Oh, Mr. Serrano. Novel, sir. Novels. Thank you. Maraming salamat. Yan. Exactly. Um, narrative devices is present with literature. Novels, short stories, Wattpad, um, Wattpad entries. Doon siya nag-originate. And it's also, and they are all also present with movies. Whether documentary, with vlogs. These are all video formats. Pero with narrative devices, present sila not just with movies or not just with video but also with the written platform novels blog as in blog b blog entries um short stories poems even thank you mr serrano so yun dun po pasko yung narrative device natin and today our main topic is narrative devices so yesterday dapat i-discuss ko yung storytelling And today, dapat yung narrative device. But um, because of the mental health break, um, we'll try to complete all this in one sitting. Okay. Narrative devices, um, una sa lahat, perspective. It's to deliver the story in a particular point of view or perspective. We have different, different kinds of perspective. And I'll try to relate it to video games para mas makarelate yung mga classmates nyo. A first-person narrative is a story from the first-person perspective. 
the viewpoint viewpoint of a character writing or speaking directly about themselves. So, una sa lahat, sa video games, first-person narrative can be considered or can be associated with FPS or first-person shooters. These are games like um, Quake, like Doom, Counter-Strike. Um, I don't know if Valorant is first-person. Sorry, I haven't played that game yet. Eh. Um, let's hear it from uh, Mr. Bryant. Hello, Bryant. Hello. Good morning, po, sir. Pre, good morning. Ano? Gamer ka ba? Apo. Uh, uh, Anong games? Mga online games po. Um, so, no. na- nakapaglaro ka ng Valorant? Yes po. And can you describe what you see when you play Valorant? Ano ba nakikita doon? Asan sa HUD or HID? Oh. Ano po, first person din po yung laro nun. And 5v5 po yung labanan. Ah, group, ano, parang match uh, match game pala siya. So, yes. can you can you explain further, ano ba ang first person shooter talaga? Ano yung nakikita yung... nila doon? Yung first person po is yung perspective po ng mismong character na ginagamit mo po. Ayun po yung mismong nakikita mo. Para pong nasa tunay na buhay lang po. Yes. Ikaw yung character mo na nilalaro mo, di ba? Yes po. Oh, so, what you see on the screen, kamay lang usually when you change weapons, di ba? When you, when you use melee weapons, sinasaksak mo or ano, pinapalo mo. That's first person perspective kasi ikaw yung character na nilalaro mo. That's basically the same with first person perspective na nar- narration. Ikaw yung character na binabasa mo sa kwento. 'Di ba? Mind blowing. Okay. An example of which um ayoko muna mag-spill. Let's hear it from people na nakapagbasa or nakanood. Let's hear it from ano. Let's hear it from Miss Sales. Hello, Christine Joy. Ma Maggie Sing. If you can uh, if you can talk uh, via mic, you can chat it or you can type it down. Eh, mukhang malayo pa ang signal ni, ano, ni Miss Sales. How about Audrin? Hello, Audrin. <laughs> Gulat siya eh. <laughs> okay ka lang, Audrin. Hi. Ang napindot niyang mic. Okay lang. <laughs> ang ganda nung ano. Ang ganda nung decoration sa wall. Mga marvel ka pala. Oh, sa ate ko po yan. <laughs> sa ate mo? Okay. So, ano, ang um, sa tingin mo, anong novel, if you are, if you are into reading, or anong movies, if you are into watching, ang first person pala ang pelikula, or ang novel? Hmm. Ikaw yung character. Ano sir, yung nabasa ko po yung yung series po na may datala. Selection series sir. Ano yun, Wattpad? Ano po, book po. Book Dao talaga po. yun? Apo. Oh, I, I'm not familiar with that. Um, paano mo nasabing first person siya? Kasi sir, yung nagsasalita, yung person po po siya kasi yung bida po yung yung per point of view niya po. Okay. Pero, what do you usually read on, on ano yun? Novel ba siya? Series na novel? Yes po. Oh. Anong, anong clue na nasasabi mong ikaw yung character na yun? Mm. Kung sinasabi mong yung character na nagsasalita lagi yung magkikwento? Yes po. Ano? Anong, anong clue? Ay. Hmm. 
Kasi pa sa kanang ina-explain niya po yung thoughts niya po. Okay, okay. Good, good. So yan. Um, you know, simplest clue to knowing what kind of perspective it is is that yung main character or whoever is uh, no, is talking, parang kinikwento niya yung yung nangyari from his perspective, di ba? Mm-hmm. Pero to be more specific, thank you, thank you Audrey. Yeah. Yeah. To be more specific, to know if you're reading or yeah, basically reading a first person material, whether short story or poetry ba yan or novel is that there should always be the presence of the pronoun I or me. Yun talaga, doon mo malalaman na ikaw yung character na yun. Ikaw yung nagsasalita, ikaw yung nag-iisip, ikaw yung kumikilos. Kasi it's always about me, it's always about I. Diba? Kasi sometimes they can be just the narrator. Pero, most of the time, if they are, narr- if they are the narrator and they say it or say the say their thoughts say their lines using i using me then yeah that's first person perspective thank you audrey okay so ganun ang first person natin sa video games kita mo yung kamay mo kamay lang ang kita sa changing weapons this time around for our literature nakita mo yung words na um words na i words na me okay That's first person. We go to third person perspective. Nag-skip ako ah. Take note of that. Third person narrative is the most typical, most traditional narrative mode. It is where the narrator and the main character are totally different people. Many stories, especially in literature, alternate between the third person limited and third person omniscient. Okay, so... To relate this to video games, these are the kinds of games like um, Grand Theft Auto, Max Payne, um, Super Mario, Side Scrollers, um, most MMORPGs, like um, even you know, um, even you ML nyo, diba? Ay, sorry. Uh, yeah, I think yeah ML ML kasi diba, ano, ML isang character ka lang. And you control that character. Pero the difference lang is that you see your characters. You control them. You are not exactly that character. Pero you are like God controlling that person or controlling that that creature. Okay? So, yun. Um, Mobile Legends, uh, League of Legends, um, Grand Theft Auto, um, Spider-Man. Diba? If you're on PS4 or PS5, um, Max Payne, what else? Ano pa ba yung mga ano? Games ko dati. I, I, I forgot na. Pero yun, um, can you name other car, uh, other video games that are or that is in third person perspective? Ay, thank you. Yan, si Mr. Eman. Yeah, Minecraft. You, you you actually see your character, di ba? You see your character building your, ano, be, be, building your fortress. Dota, sir. Doon ba si Jaren? Sinabi ko na ang Grand Theft Auto. Gusto GTA. Eh, Burge ka, you know? Iisa lang yan. Pero yeah, GTA and Grand Theft Auto is the same. Uh, pero yes, true naman. Okay. Um, Roblox. I haven't tried Roblox yet, Evan. Pero yeah, I think from the screenshots, oo, oh, oh, tama. Ano siya? Third person siya. Ah, wait, Kyle. Ito, Plants vs. Zombies. Ito, itong ano dito? challenge dito. Um, Plants vs. Zombies is not third person. Especially if you're the, syempre, ikaw yung bida, diba? ikaw yung nasa plants, um, plant side. It's not third person. Kasi, it will only be third person if you're controlling one character lang. But with Plants vs. Zombies, you're controlling all, eh, diba? Yung marami. Maraming layers, maraming rows ng ano, ng mga plants, diba? So, It's not really third person. But we will get to that. Thank you, buti din remind mo ako about that. Uh, about PVC, Kyle. Thank you. Dota. Dota, Cyrus, can you describe how Dota... Um, Dota, tama ba? Yeah, Dota, naraalala ko naglalaro ng, ano, eh, ng Warcraft 3 dati. Tapos nagkaroon ng plug-in or ng, ano, ng patch, which is called um, yun, yung Dota. Yung original niya. Um, 
Yeah, third person siya, tama. Very good. <laughs> Sophia, yes, Bomberman. I don't know what kind of version, pero I, I I will always think Bomberman is a third person perspective game. Fortnite, yeah. Oh, uh, just like um Ah, Fortnite. Ay, tama kasi nakikita mo yung character mo doon. Yeah, good. Just Dance, wait lang, Chris na. Ano yung Just Dance? Para, siya, para ba siyang Dance Revolution? Opo oh, yata. Yung ano sir, kagayahin niyo po yung nasa yun. Nasa screen? Or yung... Uh, can you, can you, ano, send a screenshot? Wala lang, weird lang yung Just Dance. Kung... Just dance, kita mo yung character na sumasayaw, tapos yung character mo, pasayawin mo ng katulad ng ganun. Tama ba? Po? Oh. <laughs> Dami ko sinabi. Okay ka lang. Hindi <laughs> ka lang pa naitindihan. Sorry. Sorry. I-describe mo, i-describe mo yung just dance. What do you see on your screen? Ano sir, nasayaw na tao. Or, ano? Basta sir, nasayaw sa screen. Tapos, yung steps nun, yun yung gagayahin ng ta Yung gagayahin mo. Okay, wait lang ha. Parang, isa kang ano, isa kang palaisipan. Wait lang. Isusurch ko na siya, nasayaw. Just, I should Anything. Just dance. Just dance. Okay. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Gagayahin mo talaga yon, Or para siyang dance revo na may lumalabas na parang up, down, ganun, ganun? Ano, sir? Gagayahin talaga. Ah, gagayahin talaga? That's difficult. Pero if, if you say so, kung ganun yung description mo, I haven't seen the video yet. But I guess kung sa description mo, eh, tama siya. Okay? Thank you, Krisna. Sige, tulog ka na ulit. Good night. For Eman, um, Eman g- gave two examples already. So I think tama yung Grand Chase. I'm just, I'm just ano, trusting Eman now. Let's see. Grand Chase. Ah, para rin siyang ano. Ah, maraming characters. Eman, can you, can you, ano, can you speak on your mic? O, oh, type ka lang. Sige, magsayta ka. Ah, walang mic. Sige, um, Eman, um, how many characters do you control on, on Grand Chase? Parang ang dami ng characters sa screen eh. Ah, isa lang ba? Mo, ano siya? MMORPG rin? Ah, wait lang. Pag PC, isa lang. Okay. Ah, okay. So, isa lang yung character mo pag PC. Parang napakalungkot ano kung kailan PC ka, isang character lang kinukotron mo. Pero pag nasa phone ka, apat, weird. So, ito, ito yung type of video game na hindi natin ma-discern. If it's first person or third person, wait lang, napaka ano. And, naka-auto-tune ba ako? Bakit? Um, okay na ba yung bosses ko, guys? Sorry, ba't parang naka-auto-tune ako? Weird, napindot siguro. Is it okay now? Uy, okay, okay na? Okay na? Apo, sir. Maraming salamat, sorry. Naman, ngayon lang nagsabi si Jared. Kala nyo ba normal yung boses ko? Ano ako si ano? Gloria, ano? Hindi si Gloria Estefan. Sino nga yan? Wait lang. Ano yung comment? Last comment. Okay na sir. Dapat din yun na puti ng guide. Baliw. Okay. So, yan. Um, with Grand Chase, I, I think magkaiba talaga yung ano niya. Yung perspective depende sa platform na gamit. If your PC, malamang your first, um, third person, pero pag ano, pag siguro sa mobile it's um hindi siya third person omniscient ang tawag doon okay so balik tayo asa na ba yung powerpoint ko wait lang ha 
Nakikita niyo pa ba yung slide, guys? Yes, po. Okay, sorry. Okay, good. So, um, meron tayong multiple person perspective. Ito, yung example ni Eman for mobile. An author will move back and forth between a, a, a more omniscient third, par, uh, third person narrator to a more um, more personal third person limited, uh, sorry, limit, limited narrator. So ito, nagpapalit-palit ka ng characters dito. Just like in our Plants vs. Zombies ni, ni Kyle. I think it was Kyle. Tama ba? Si Kyle ba yung unang nag-mention nun? So, I'm just back reading. Yeah, si Kyle nga, oo. So, like, PVZ is more like multiple person perspective. Same with um, Grand Chase sa mobile, multiple person perspective kasi apat daw yung characters na kinokontrol. So, ganun po ang multiple person perspective in narration or in literature and in movies. Um, in movies, you're not really controlling pero you are focusing on not just one main character but multiple main characters. TV shows, um, like K-dramas, dalo lang yung main character then hindi siya multiple person perspective. Okay? It's just third person perspective. Perspective ng, ano, ng typical na narrator. Walang nagna-narrate pero walang um, walang focus. Um, the main focus yung character pero hindi siya yung tipong nagna-narrate ng kwento. You 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 won't hear uh, Dusik or si Dr. Anong pangalan ng babae sa ano, hometown? I forgot the name. Hindi sila ang nagna-narrate. Sila lang yung main characters. Okay. Uh, ang dami ng alam, ang dami alam na background ni Emma about the game. Okay, sino yung Travis Scott? Papag-google niyo na naman sa akin to. Okay, going back to the list of your games, um, Super Mario is first, uh, is third person, Warcraft 3, yan, like Dota naman siya eh. Uh -oh. um, NBA, ito, Marithoni. NBA Live is multiple person perspective. Or, or multiple person. Um, kasi you can switch between different players. Di ba? Uh, yun, yun lang. Pero, remember that I missed or that I skipped one perspective and it's called second person perspective. The second person perspective narrative is a narrative mode in which the protagonist or another main character is referred to by second person, personal pronouns and other kinds of addressing forms for example the English uh, the English second person pronoun you okay so hindi lang siya ay may you rin siya or him ay common pala him pero may you um imagine a story whether um literature or movie wherein ang bida is si si ano si Kyle ang bida sa Ang bida sa, ano, sa, sa buhay niya. Pero, ang narrator, ako. Her professor. So, kinikwento ko um, na si Kyle, la, ang dami niyang pinasang subject. Diba? Ang dami niyang pinasang subject. Um, tapos, kinikwento ko yung buhay niya um, on, 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 on a daily basis. Parang ganun. That is second person perspective. Yung narrator, and the main character is different. Remember, first person perspective, yung character, yung main character and narrator is the same person. <coughs> Third person naman, the main character and the narrator is different person or different people, but the narrator is not part of the story. Para kang si God. Ha? However, the second person the main character is not the narrator. However, the narrator is part of the story pa rin. Okay? So yun, kinikwento ako, ako yung nag, um, nagnanarrate ng buhay ni Kyle or any one of you, ako ang nagkikwento from my perspective. Diba? Wala tayo, walang pakialam. Eh, kayong audience, wala kayong pakialam how Kyle, Kyle feels kasi Ako ang magkukwento ko ano yung nararamdaman niya from my perspective. 
But yes, parang biography. Thank you, Earl. So, parang ganon. Um, MMK, no, MMK is still third person eh. May Charo Santos lang. And also, MMK, hindi konektado si Charo Santos sa kwento. Third person pa rin yun. Um, very difficult tong ano to, itong element na to, itong perspective na to. Not, not, um, it's very few na makakanood ka ng movie, makabasa ka ng novel, na ang main character ay iba sa narrator, sa narrator, pero ang narrator ay part pa rin ng kwento. Pero biography, medyo similar siya. Kasi you're telling, um, about, you're saying something about a person, which is the main character, pero ikaw, well, hindi, um, Eh, siyempre, biographies are usually wrote, um, written or um, performed by someone close to that person. Eh. Siyempre, di ba? Ikaw yung in authority to, to tell a story, di ba? Um, yari, biography ko, pero ang nagkikwento, si Jared being one of, I, one of my Beatles. Parang ganun. Di ba? So, parang, bio, parang, parang biography rin talaga. Okay? Pero not MMK. MMK kasi... Unless si Charo Santos maging part ng storya, it will never be second person. It will only be first person. So, yun nga, your best friends, guys, best friends, girlfriends, boyfriends, wives, or husbands, imagine ninyo kayo yung main character ng, ng movie nyo, tapos sila ang nagkikwento ng buhay nyo. Okay? So, they are still part of the story, but they are narrating your story. So, medyo complicated. There are a handful lang of movies and literature with third-person perspective. So, medyo mahirap siya talaga hanapin. I, I, I gave you an example. Wait lang. Let me just Google or let me just go to my... Anong tawag dito? My God, wait lang. Ah, uh, yun. Kala ko nagtanggal ako ng, ng PowerPoint. Ay, lang ano, ng tab sa... Safari. Ang tawag nito? Um, Google Drive natin. If you can remember, I sent a Google Drive uh, folder or link to you guys. Um, switch now. No. Account. Uh, the TV shows movies uh, link that I posted. May iba doon TV show. May, may isa doon. Ay, may isa doon TV show. The rest movies. Um, may kita nyo dyan. Uh, meron ba? Ay, wala. I'll try to post na lang pala. Meron, meron. Chuck Palanook. Visit Chuck Palanook Fight, uh, Fight Club. It's similar to second person perspective. Try nyo. Sa novel, it's first person perspective. Pero sa movie, second person perspective siya konti. Konti lang. It's not purely second person, pero it felt like second person perspective. Try to watch uh, Fight Club. Ito yung assignment nyo. Uh, before kayo mag-breakdown. I mean, mag-mental health break. Ika nga. Again, try to watch it. It's really nice. Sino nakapanood na dito nun? Fight Club. Raise a hand na lang. Ooh, George. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Um, Johnny Depp version. Yes po, sir. Uh, yung kung palumpa po yung nagkwento. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oo. Uh-huh. Yeah, parang ganun yung atmosphere ng second person perspective. Ang bida talaga doon yung bata, di ba? But si, ano, yung kung palumpa yung ano, yung talaga nagkikwento. Yeah, parang ganun yung feel niya. Money Heist, um, sino ba yung nagkikwento, no? It's multiple person perspective, I think, eh. Kasi, uh, I, I, again, uh, I only, I was only able to watch season one. Kasi nabore ako masyado. Alam ko, iba-iba silang perspective. I think. Umbrella Academy, I haven't seen it yet. Um, alam ko, para silang mga X-Men, mga bata, or students, para ganun. Pero, uh, I think, multiple person perspective siya. Um, Titanic! Titanic is, yeah, thank you, Oliver. Titanic, mukha siyang second person perspective, pero it's first person perspective. Kasi if you can recall, everything is just a flashback ni Matandang Rose. Yun yung nakakalimutan ng mga tao eh. 
At the, very, at the very beginning, kinikwento lang siya nung matandang Rose. Tapos flashbacks ng lahat. Cool, di ba? Yan, yun yung magandang reason. Uh, yun yung magandang karakteristik talaga ng narrative, di ba? Ang ganda nung pagkakadeliver eh. Okay, let's go back. Sorry, daming side quest natin. And third person, multiple person. Okay, the next narrative device naman is subplot. In fiction, a subplot is secondary strand of the plot that is supporting side story for any story or the main plot. Subplots may connect to main plots in either time and place or in a thematic significance. Subplots are good for character development or establishing a background on the main plot. Let's say for example, balik tayo sa buhay nyo as your movie. Parang ano, parang may sarili kang ano, may sarili kang pelikula, ikaw yung bida sa sarili mong pelikula. Ngayon, there are events in your life na hindi siya relevant with your end, end game. Ang end game nyo guys, you want to be an engineer or better yet, you wanted to be or you are a successful engineer or you will be a successful engineer. And syempre, for our only rose among the thorn, si George, uh, psychologist or psychiatrist. Depende kung ano bang George ang ano mo, ang strand mo. Magiging psychiatrist ka ba or psychologist with your degree? Um, ano po, science pa lang po. Tapos pag po nag uh, masteral or doctorate na po doon na po, psychologist na po or um, ano po yung, may iba tawag pa po doon eh. Psychometrician? Um, ay, mali po pala. Um, psychometrician after po ng bachelor's degree and um, after po ng doctorate is psychiatrist and psychologist na po. Yun po pala. Uh, so, psychometrician yung pinaka earliest achievement mo parang ganun. Yes po. Ba- board, parang board exam po. Ganun po. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. So, ang dami. Anak ko po. <laughs> okay. So, yun yung goal ni George. And that's basically his story. Di ba? How he became uh, a successful psychologist or psychiatrist even. Yung pinaka, ano na, pinaka end game talaga. However, during the course of his life, meron siya mga side quests na nanadaanan. And like video games, sorry, puro video game, ano ako ha, examples. Like video games, every side quests, kaya paano will earn you different experience points, di ba? So parang ganun din ang subplot natin. Um, George will, ano, sorry ah, Nakonood lang unyari ako, George. Unyari, bumagsak sa isang subject si George. Pero, he learned a valuable lesson. Parang ganun. So, again, yung pagbagsak niya sa isang subject, irrelevant siya sa pagiging psychiatrist or psychologist niya in the end of the story. Pero, yung malit na part na yon na segment na yon built his character better. Di ba? Or better yet, nagkaroon siya ng bagong friend, kunyari. Ha? Um... I'll give you an example. Um, with the movie Avengers Age of Ultron, guys, syempre, the main, the main story is the Avengers fought against Ultron. Diba? Pero during the span of that two-hour film, naglaban si Hulk and si Iron Man. Um, who else? Um, nakalaban ni Hulk ay si Quicksilver. Na recruit nila si um ang pangalan nitong babae to si Scarlet Witch. Okay? So these are three subplots ng movie na yun. The main plot is syempre um Tony Stark accidentally created Ultron and then Ultron yun wanted to rule over the world. And syempre they fought um the Avengers fought Ultron, di ba? Pero yung minensyon kong tatlo, yun yung mga subplots niya. Yun, um, Hulkbuster versus um, Hulk, um, Hulk, Hulkbuster Iron Man versus Hulk. Um, I guess Captain America versus um, Scarlet Witch or um, Hawkeye versus Scarlet Witch. Yung mga ganun, puro side, side stories sila. Subplots. So again, in the end, they were able to become better people, become better Avengers dahil sa subplots na yun. Pero, remove those subplots, buo pa rin yung kwento. Diba? That's basically the same as 
a subplot in our lives. Yun, yung mga hiccups natin, mga certain small tragedies na nakawang ka. Siyempre, ako na nakawang ako personally during my first day um, in college. First day na first day. Yan, nakawang ako sa Bustilios. Iyak ako eh. Tapos siyempre, dahil batang probinsyano ako, I, I'm from Cainta Rizal. Uh, it was my first time um, commuting sa Manila. Tapos naligaw ako, iyak talaga ako. So later on, I became more ano, aware, hyper-aware na ako sa surroundings ko. Diba? It's not connected with how I became a professor. It's not connected um, when I took up my uh, my doctor's degree. Diba? Or it's not connected even with my with my sidelines like um, web development. Pero it's a subplot ng story ko. Parang ganun. So you guys, you will have dozens or hundreds of subplots then. Pero kahit tanggalin yun, buo pa rin yung character nyo. Buo pa rin yung story nyo. Diba? So, those are subplots. Yan. Oh, so, ayan. Typical subplot. Before the hero battles the main villain in an all-out duel to the death, he will have to face, an, uh, he will have to face a number of minions, each with their own skills. This is subplot to develop the character and make the audience cheer for him or sympathize for him. Whether it's Uh, it's a film, TV show, or even literature, subplots don't just create character development, but also aims to have the audience, the readers, the moviegoers, root or sympathize para sa main character. Minsan kasi pag poor writing and walang character development, it's just, um, it's just created to create, um, to, to, engage more the audience. Walang natutunan. Walang, walang moral lesson na natutunan si main character. However, dahil nag-invest tayo ng time, mas nag-sympathize tayo sa kanya. Diba? In a suspense thriller, the hero will have to investigate seemingly random crime scenes but will eventually link to his main target or suspect. This subplot creates more depth to the main story. It branches off, and once the audience is immersed, it will go back to the main plot. So, again, kahit ang ganun niyo isa sa mga subplots, the, the story is still cohesive. It's still, yun, complete, di ba? So, um, how many of you guys have seen the TV show What If? Yung mga may sa MCU dyan, or may Disney Plus. Jared, nakumpleto mo na, Yes, sir. Ganda nung finale. Salamat, ha. Salamat sa pang-iingit. Pahingin ng kopya, ha. Pahingin ng kopya. Lahat, sir, sa mga illegal site lang ako. Hindi mo diya daw. <laughs> Ini-stream mo lang. Opo. Corny mo? Hindi, <laughs> joke lang. <laughs> Pahingin naman. Sophia, ikaw, have you seen the, the entire episodes? Sa akin po, sir. Ano kasi sa akin yung ano ba yun? Lockdown, lockdown, sir. Laktaw, laktaw, bakit? Nagkukulang ka sa download or ano? Hindi po, ano. Mar- marami, pinapanood pa po akong iba. Ay, wow. Multitasking. Ang gano'n <laughs> Okay. Kasi, for those who have completed it, like, si, I don't know kay Sophia kung ano yung mga nalaktawan niya eh. For Jared, you will notice Jared doon sa last episode or yung kinalaban si Ultron. Bakit dumating si Gamora? Si Gamora, sir? Oo. Oh. Di ba galing, galing sila iba-ibang ano? Iba-ibang timeline, reality, ganun. Oo. Oh. Tapos kinuha sila ni... Oo, oh, ni Watcher, di ba? Oo oh, po. Ngayon, if you will notice, every characters na kinuha ni, ni Watcher, galing sa kanilang episodes, di ba? Oo oh, po. Pero si Gamora, wala siyang sariling episode. Ayaw nga, sir. Wala. Kasi lumalabas doon per episode, doon sa last episode, sorry ah, yung mga previous episode, naging subplot siya sa last episode. Ginamit si si Thor na party goer, ginamit si Doctor Strange, yung Strange Supreme, di ba? Yung parang laki ni Supreme. Yung pinakamalakas na version ni Supreme, ni, ni Doctor Strange. Nilamon oh, yung sarili niya, di ba? Eh. O, oh, tapos bad ending, di ba? So, yun yung ano, naging subplots yung mga episodes, yung mga previous episodes na yun, 
para dun sa Secret Wars against Ultron. May hinatak sila from different from their own um universes or multiverse as uh, kinalaban si ano si Ultron. Which is nice. And Ultron is basically um sino nga to? Vision na naka-armor lang, 'di ba? 'Yun yung plot twist doon eh. So those are subplots, okay? So those are the two narrative devices which are both present in film and in cinema. Okay? So we have um narrative which is about the perspective and subplots which are yung mga bits and pieces ng ating parts ng pelikula or even TV show. Okay? Um How many of you guys have been watching Hometown Cha 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 recently? So, Miss Sinunyes. Sinunyes lang. Wala na ako ibang karamay. Oh, Chris na. Sige. Um, doon sa recent na episode, I don't know what particular episode, um, yung magdanakaw, Di ba may magdanakaw na manyak? Opo, oh, sir. May reveal na siya. Ha? Uy, girl, salita ka. Sige. Na-reveal na yun, sir, sa episode na din. Sa mismo episode na dun, sir. Oo nga. Pero, if you can remember, pinakita na yun previously sa two episodes before. Bakit? Di ba two episodes before, nagkakawalaan sila ng gamit? Simple lang. Hindi minention, ay, hindi pinakita what not, pero minention na nawala yung bra ng isa, nawala yung um, dress ng buntes, di ba? So that's basically a subplot of that particular episode. Na na-reveal lang dun sa later part, which is, I, I forgot what episode number. Pero yun, that's how subplots work minsan. Okay? Ngayon guys, and that is our story, or story ang puta. That is our topic for Monday, the narrative devices. We now go to our second device for storytelling, which is cinematic devices. For cinematic devices, tatlo lang ang pag-uusapan natin because there are a lot, red herring, um, ano ba, wait lang, let me just um, check out my other um, post about it. Wait lang, ito ba? tapari ko. Wala, I close tapari pala. Yun, wait lang. Yun, I found it. Other than, um, other than the three that I posted, there are really a lot. Kaya lang, um, para hindi lang maging um, parang toxic ang discussion, maraming, maraming, ano, maraming mga, ang tawag dito? Maraming pang mga cinematic devices ang present, hindi lang masyadong, hindi lang natin masyadong i-discuss kasi sayang oras. Yan, we have in media res, red herring, MacGuffin. MacGuffin, guys, ito yung cinematic device na para ma-explain ang kahit anong bagay, yun yung power niya. Um, yun nga, hindi mo, di ba, Scarlet Witch malabo ang power niya. Hindi mo alam kung telepathy ba, telekinesis, witchcraft, MacGuffin ang tawag doon. Um, she can create any kind of power or she can do anything whenever it is needed sa plot, sa story. Okay? That's MacGuffin. Okay? MacGuffin ang tawag. Pag kunyari, hindi naman na-develop yung part na to ng story, yung ng character development, pero nagkaroon siya ng biglang, marunong siya palang ano. <clears throat> Wait lang. Um, remember, War of the Sun, are you familiar with the TV show? or with that K-drama, isa sa mga walang kwentang napanood kong K-drama ever. May nakanood ba nun? Wale. Sad. Mag-gaffi, um, napanood ko kasi sa, sa video ng Facebook, yung parang guy, yung bida sa AG3, I am not a robot, parang ganun. Siya yung bida. Tapos, si girl, siya yung bida sa, kasama niya si Limin Ho dun sa, ano, sa City Hunter. Tapos nanakawan siya ng, ng wallet or bag something. Tapos yung guy, sobrang talas ng memory niya. Diba? Ang galing. Tapos na, 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 ano niya, na, ba, na backtrack niya yung pangyayari. The entire na pangyayari sa bus. In a matter of 
uh, minutes. As in, ganun katalas yung memory niya. Pero, his memory is just a MacGuffin. Twice lang yata nagamit sa buong series yung memory power niya yun or power niya of yun. Ano ba? Memory. <laughs> yun. MacGuffin siya. Di ba? Like same ako, um, kunyari, ang story, story ng buhay natin o story ng buhay nyo. Um, kunyari, um, I need ano, kailangan ko ng ano, kailangan ko ng, kunyari, magde-debut si ano, si Kyle. Kailangan ko ng photographer and ano eh, videographer eh, tapos ako magpapresenta. Ay, Kyle, marunong ako mag ano, marunong ako mag, ako nalang mag-cover ng ano nyo, photography and videography kasi marunong ako mag-photography. Ay, oh, pero kailangan din pala namin ng ano, kailangan din pala ng pare. Ay, Kyle, Kyle, ano ako, uh, may lisensya ako to, ano, to, 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 ah, na magkasal, di ba? Parang, that's MacGuffin. Yung, hindi mo na kailangan bigyan ng malalim na, na ano, backstory, parang bigla ng boom. May skill na siya na ganito. Boom, may, ano, may talent na siya na ganito. That's basically MacGuffin. Parang hindi ka na magkwento ng napakatagal MacGuffin yung tawag doon. And that's a cinematic device na hindi ko na may discuss dito. Shiner ko na lang, okay? So, pero ang discuss natin is the big three na very common. Not just with, um, not just with cinema naman, but with, um, with narrative device din. Or, with with literature din pero hindi siya common pero meron pa rin naman the first one is montage uh, montage ito yung you are given a few seconds lang of airtime pero squeeze mo yung buong buhay ni ano ni ni ano ni Krisna ni ni Shaen ni Sofia di ba paano mo sisingin yung buong buhay mo ako if i am If you, are, uh, if you are to create uh, a story, uh, a movie, or kahit pa paano, a short short story or short film about my life, pero you're just given 30 seconds, ito ang montage. These are series of parang 5-second clips or 2-second clips na sobrang bilis, di ba? Pero upon watching it, you are given the entire story. That's montage. Um... I don't know if this is still a thing on Facebook. Kunyari, um, friends kami ni, ano, friends kami ni, ni Jared sa Facebook. We've been friends for five years. Ganun, ganun. Siyempre, we've met na, kunyari, nag, ano, minum na kami sa labas, nag, ano, kami, nagtambay na kami sa bilyara. Kunyari, ganun, may pictures kami. During our, ano, during Jared's birthday, Facebook will create a video of us. Diba? Nakita nyo ba yung mga ganon? Can you describe that? May, may video na ibiligay si, si Facebook na parang, it's your friend's birthday. You know, can you sh- share this video with him to commemorate your, ano, your special day? Parang ganon. How many of you have seen that or have, have been given a video like that? Generated by Facebook. Um, George, can you describe it? Um, how the video ano went? Ano po? Parang nagaano po si Facebook ng mga par mga pictures na nakatag po ako sa kanya or nakatag siya sa akin ganon po. And maraming visual effects ni Facebook po yung lumalabas. Tapos mga greetings po ganon. Exactly. So de ba? Siyempre depende yun kung birthday ba or friend anniversary or friend anniversary nyo. Depende sa mga pictures na ibibigay ni Facebook. Parang, you've been friends for how many years? Ganun-ganun na yung parang, share this video with him. Ganun-ganun. Kasi it's basically telling your story, your friendship story, online. ba? Diba? So in a matter of, how many seconds yun? 30 seconds lang, 1 minute, parang ganun. Nakwento na niya yung buong buhay niyo together on Facebook. ba? Diba? Yun, with matching clippings, Facebook clips, Facebook uh, pictures, ba? Diba? Na naposto sa Facebook together or individually that is basically a montage okay so with montages let's get an example um another youtube 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 um channel i'll try to have you watch this guys have a my time pa it's um, yeah may clean na lang okay montage 
hopefully the list of this of of videos nakita nyo or napanood nyo na itong movie na to. Let's go for montage. Best montages. Watch Mojo. Where's Watch Mojo? I, I cannot find first montage. Um, first movie montages. Yon, okay. Uh, watch Mojo, watch Mojo, watch Mojo, watch Mojo. No, no, no. I don't know. Dahil siyempre guys, um, with, if you are, if you will watch, um, sports movies, um, siyempre kailangan ipakita yung training, di ba? Pero we cannot sh- really show that unless, yun nga, ganito ang gagawin natin, which is called a montage. I'll, show, I'll share you the screen, sorry. Hopefully you'll hear this screen as well. Where's my window? There you go. I, I don't want to maximize the baka mawala pa ako, so dito na lang. Athletic progress is seen in stages. And composing its highlights is an art. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 serious sports movie montages. For this list, we're looking at big screen training sequences, uplifting teamwork scenes, and successful rises to sports challenges that flat out rule for their content, rhythm, pacing, emotional intensity, and editing technique. Number 10, the best memories, remember the Titans. In this sports drama, the creation of a racially integrated football team in 1971 sparks some political conflict unto their new coach, who faces a career-risking responsibility to lead them to victory. Let's go to work. So yeah, that's why um that's how effective and useful montages are. Hindi yung ikikwento mo yung simula pagkabata ng character hanggang sa pagtanda, ipapakita mo, isasabihin mo. Napaka-irrelevant yun. It's the entire sequence sequence uh hindi naman sequence. The entire years from gray um from 1 year old hanggang 16 year old, 16 years old subplot lahat. Diba? Sayang eh. So, you can compress it into as short time as possible by using montage. Bakita mo lang yung mga highlights ng buhay niya. Birthdays, kanyari, every every second, nagbublow siya ng cake, kanyari, first uh, first birthday, second birthday, hanggang, hanggang ano, hanggang 16. Diba? Ganun kasimple. Minsan, kahit nga by two eh, kanyari, um first birthday, third, sixth, or fifth, sixth, parang ganyan. Montage yung tawag doon. Kasi you, parang gumagawa ka lang ng collage in video format. That's why it's called montage. Okay? So, going back to our previous slide. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Yan. There are two kinds of montage. The first one is railroad montage. It yung visually you can um, visualize your main character, naglalakad siya palayo, or paharap sa camera, palapit sa'yo, kunyari, you're the cameraman, tapos dinadaanan lang niya sa gilid yung mga nangyayari sa buhay niya. That's railroad montage. Um, I'll try to Google, um, I'll try to Google that. 
just go to um, my safari again um flash flash tv show montage yan kasi whenever ayan dahil si Barry Allen eh ang tawag dito nagpupunta siya sa ano what they call that nagta time travel siya whatever he does sa past nagkakaroon ng significance sa present something tama ba parang ganun wait lang wag na yun masyadong ano complicated pero yun nga whenever he changes something in the past nagkakaroon ng change sa present niya so instead of retelling the story hanggang sa present time nagmomontage na lang siya sa speed force Um, there's a movie called uh, Butterfly Effect. How many of you have seen that movie? May nakapanood naman ng Butterfly Effect. Wala, my God. Let me just find the video for you. Okay. Hey, wala. Wala sa Facebook. Ay, wala sa, wala sa YouTube. God, there's a movie. Uh-huh. Video clip there. Ah, ito. Um, I'll show you the endings. Sa endings meron. Um, let's watch it together. I will have 10 minutes na lang natitira pala. I, I don't want to uh, maximize the time. So, dapat mag-break. Magpahinga na rin before your next class. Ngayon, I'll post it on our comments box or chat box. Watch this uh, video. Um, the, the the movie is all about this guy na nagkakaroon ng black house nung bata siya. Apparently, nung adult na siya, nalaman niya na yung flash, yung black out nang yun, it meant na yung consciousness niya nung adult, bumabalik nung bata siya. So parang blank memory sa memory card natin yun. Blank bytes or block ng memory. Kaya siya nagba-blackout kasi yung adult memory niya yung gumagana. And with that, every flashback niya or every blackouts niya na adult version yung pumapasok, nagkakaroon ng changes, nababago niya yung past niya. Kaya pagdating niya sa present, pagbalik niya, iba na yung buhay niya. And that is done by always creating a montage of the changes that happen pagbalik niya sa present time. Okay? So kind of watch this, guys. Um, the the YouTube link of uh, the different versions, endings ng Butterfly Effect. If you like this, and if you're curious, uh, let me know and I'll give you the full version or the full movie um, on our Google Drive. Okay? And also, guys, um, if you've noticed, I have posted the sneak preview of Performance one, uh, performance Task 1 and 2. Unfortunately, dahil sinagad ko yung topic natin from narrative devices to cinematic devices, hindi ko na masyado makwento or ma- ma- ma-discuss yung narrative, uh, yung performance task. However, please watch the sneak preview and the examples. I'll try to come up with, um, ano ba yun? Bastos mag-doorbell. I'll try to come up with, I will try to come up with um, either uh, a recorded session para mapanood nyo yung explanation or you can just ask me on on the comment thread okay guys thank you for joining me this afternoon and good luck with you or have fun with your mental health break have fun talaga in term sorry ha basta enjoy your long weekend na lang <laughs> maraming salamat and i'll see you all next week guys thank you and have a great week bye